All right, you can see how much working room I have here, which is almost zero. Hello folks, welcome to the Net Cruiser Cars. I've got my Golf R set up here on some rear ramps. Hmm, what kind of DIY improvement are we making on the Golf R today? Let's find out. So I've got my Golf R up on ramps and secured with jack stands because I'm gonna be lying underneath it and cutting a part off. I'm going to be doing the resonator delete. So I ordered some parts from CTS Turbo. I've previously showed you a video of me doing the turbo inlet pipe. Well, while I got that order in, I also ordered the resonator delete, yes. So we will be removing the factory resonator and putting in this straight pipe. Gives you the equivalent of putting on an aftermarket exhaust because the Golf R actually has a pretty good quad tip exhaust, but it has two mufflers on it. You've got your main muffler here, but further underneath, that guy there is the resonator. Now on the Audi S3s, you can option it from the Audi factory for having that deleted. So the Audi does make a part where the, you make a cut here and then that straight pipe I showed you just goes in between. So that's what I'm about to do and I'm gonna show you uh, how it goes. Now this is something that is DIY possible with some basic tools. So I did order the kit from CTS Turbo that includes uh, two clamps. Now, technically you just need one because you're gonna, I could reuse the one that's on it. But um, anyway, I got two just in case I ever do want to put the old resonator back on the car, I would have enough clamps to do that because right now the current exhaust only has one clamp. This cut, then you need two in the future for, uh, for reinstalling the factory resonator. And this is what I'm gonna be installing on the car. I have been doing some research. There's actually a really good uh, article on VW Vortex of all of the steps that you need to do this. Take a look at that. It gives you all the tools. It tells you exactly all the sizes of the tools that you need, where you need to make your cut, what to worry about so that uh, you should actually use a piece of wire and wire up the front of the pipe so that when you disconnect the clamp, it doesn't fall and put too much stress on the front of the motor. A couple of things I want to make sure is that I actually have the proper tools on hand. So I put in an order for those as well. And that is an exhaust tailpipe cutter. So this allows me to get right up under the car and make a quarter of a turn. And all those little wheels are cutting wheels and they'll cut right through the exhaust. And that will allow me to make a clean cut, simple and easy. In order to get that resonator off, it currently has a hanger. I also got this, an exhaust hanger removal plier that should make removing the one hanger and reinstalling the hanger a little bit easier. Now, in order to make sure nothing actually falls on me, I'm gonna be using this wire. I don't have any heavy duty exhaust wire, but uh, this is just, um, electrical wiring that is pretty heavy duty. And so I'm gonna use three strands of it all wrapped around and just wrap it around a few times and it should hold up. Okay, I'm now lying under the car. This is the front factory clamp and I just marked at the front edge with a marker on where it's supposed to hang. And then here's the front pipe going up to the engine. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this wire and fish it up and around this pipe and hang it off of the drive shaft, which is up in here. And uh, so yeah, that way it just takes the stress off that pipe as I mentioned. So I'm just gonna fish that around, tie that up, and then loosen off this clamp and slide it forward. All right, that's tied up. Start loosening off this clamp. So I've got a 13 millimeter wrench. I'm just gonna start loosening it off. I did not have to put any penetrating lubricant or anything on these because this car is only six months old. So it really, really hasn't needed much of anything. There's almost no, whoops, there's almost no rust under here. I would take a bigger swing, but the camera's in the way. <laughs> All right, that seems loose enough now for me to slide it back. Okay, there we go. And that's how much of a factory gap there is between the two pipes. So that's good. That's a good safety thing that you want to do. So it's on the wire. And uh, now this is actually pretty secure because this is the resonator side. All right. You can see how much working room I have here, which is almost zero. But uh, now I'm going to start moving my way forward and, and get ready to work on on this side. I think my next actual thing I need to do is to make the cut, which is around here, there's a little dimple. There's three dimples. Oh, you can't see. Okay, so there are three little dimples that are on this pipe. There's one here, one here, 
and then there's a little mark right there. And where you want to make the cut is right in the center one. So I'm uh, about to start making the cut, but uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the shot. So I got to figure out how to use this tool, and then uh, I'm just going to start working on it. Okay, we're getting it. I'm almost half. I'm almost all the way through. I started with an easier. Um, I started with it one less. How do you words? Words are hard. One further apart to get a nice groove started and now I've moved it one closer to make the final cut through. This will be much easier with a lift, with a proper lift. Yeah, we're cut through now. Looks like I got a little bit more to do on the very top. More to go through on the very, very top. I don't think it got all the way through, so I'm gonna keep working on it a little bit more. Success, we're now through. Now I just gotta get it disconnected from the hanger and drop it down. Got it off. Now the actual cut was, uh, was pretty clean too, I'd say. That's the cut that I made. And uh, the only other tricky part was actually getting the hanger off, so certainly buy that tool. It was like $12 or something for that tool right there, which is the um, exhaust hanger pliers, and that let it pop right off, because that flange, otherwise, you cannot just pull it out. You need to have pressure on both ends, pulling, pushing at the same time, and then it pops right out. So we are good to go. Now I just gotta install the new pipe and the new clamp, torque at the spec, and we're done. This is exciting. I do enjoy this type of DIY stuff when it's not too, too difficult. I'm by no means a mechanic, but, uh, you know, simple bolt-ons I can try and do. I think it's uh, I think it's good for everyone to try and do this DIY type stuff. Save yourself hundreds if not thousands of dollars by doing little jobs like this. Now something I didn't realize at first is that these two clamps, the clamps that you get with the uh, delete kit, are not the same size. So my whole idea at the start of the, the, start of the video where I said I'd have one extra to use, you really don't because this is a smaller one. This one only works on the front and you need the larger one for the rear. So that's the rear end one. This is the one that I need. And this is the one that I have an extra of, which is the front. And uh, that's, uh, yeah, really I should have just saved the extra $10 and I didn't need this. But if for some reason you do have a leaking clamp or something, whatever, it was only $10 more to get the version that has two clamps. Now when it comes time to putting on the clamps, you do have a choice of how you install it. Totally up to you. You could put it on this way with nuts down or I could do it the other way with nuts up. If I do it like that, where you can still get a socket in to, uh, to, do, the, to do the nuts. It'll be tight, but uh, actually, well, I don't know. We'll just play with it, but I would like it if I could do that. I mean, in Canada, right, we get a lot of salt and stuff, and if I have the nuts down, they'll get corroded faster, I think. Anyway, we'll see. I'm just doing the dry fitment now, and then we'll torque them down. All right, so this is how I'm going to do it. I just was able to hand feed in the uh, the exhaust hanger just by hand, uh, no tool needed. So I'm just going to have that aligned, put my clamp on, and then you've got your gap on the other side, which uh, it's just out of alignment because it hangs down by gravity. So I just have to fit that back in and put the clamp on, and we're done. So if I want to have this on like that, we got it about halfway. It would be good. Now with this clamp you don't want it to hit this, so it is going to have to be up on an angle a bit. I'm still not sure how I want my nuts to be. I can't get up in there to, to do it the other way. Right, I think I'm going to have to. Okay, we're going nuts down. Definitely nuts down. Ooh, even that's going to be close. I want it kind of up and out of the way. You want to kind of keep an eye on how far in you're going. You want to have it centered between them. Yeah, I need a socket extension. All right, we got the front locked in. Put it back the way it was. You just want to have that clamp just sitting just above this little support brace here. And uh, on a, like a 45 degree angle. And now I'll just do the rear one. So I'm just working on this last clamp. It's going to get that torque down. Probably overdid it a bit. I might back that one off just a little. It's install complete and we can go fire this thing up. <laughs> oh, we're free. Whew. Okay, uh, pull out the tools from right from under there 
we'll do a first start. But I just want to show you a look under it before I take it down off the ramp. So here it is, final install complete. You've got your main muffler. Well, you've got Golf R, right? Quad tip exhaust, which is actually a real exhaust. You can see here that it's like welded on tips to quad pipe into one muffler. Singular pipe coming off. Right there is where I made the cut. And then the new shiny bit is the new resonator delete pipe. And that goes down and then I installed that hanger up there. And then we put the factory clamp back on, back in its original position. a bit more of a burble out of it but it's it's pretty subtle right now let's pull it out get it warmed up here's all the things that we removed that's the factory resonator and here's all the tools that I used to do it so the pipe cutter essential tool absolutely 100% buy this 100% buy this that tripod doesn't included <laughs> that's on my camera jack stands for safety and then a, uh, I needed a 14 millimeter socket for the new clamp, a 13 millimeter socket for the old clamp. You got to use an extension. And really, that's about it. Those are all the things that I needed. Well, this is in sport mode, race exhaust, just at idle. So pretty much sounds the same. It has a slightly more of a burble, but I'm going to go take it for a drive right now and we'll try and get some exhaust clips. complete it is uh, it is subtle in the car you don't really notice it that much but it's, I'm sure it's much louder outside but it gives you a very nice added rumble when you're on gas especially when the valves are open and it also it seems to reduce drone it seems like it has less drone which is awesome so anyway highly recommended mod if you own a golf R uh, if you enjoy this video hit that like button if you're new around here subscribe if you want to talk to me leave a comment down below and as always thanks for watching also, this is fully emissions legal. This has nothing to do with emissions. This is purely for sound. You can buy an Audi with that already done to it, so it's not like it's so loud that it's illegal. It's just a nicer tone. All right, guys, thanks for watching.